you might be wondering what I'm doing today. I've just seemed to have a lot of materials that should be in the re recycling bin on my desk, but that's not the case. So I would like to show you how you can actually open up a soda can and by doing that you are then left with a nice piece of metal that is silver on one side and has the most gorgeous patterns on the other side that you could use. So if you have a look at that, look at these gorgeous colours here. Sorry, you're picking up a lot of reflection, I know, on just the way the metal is. But this one has a lovely sort of pattern on here. I don't actually like the designs because it's all skull and cosh sperms. But if I had to just take out sections like the roses or the guitars, um, it would be nice. You've got text there, which also leads itself to a whole lot of different things. So because it's a very, very noisy process to actually do this, I'm going to talk you through it rather than actually demonstrate it simply because you wouldn't be able to hear me over that so when your soda can is empty uh, let me just take one that actually fits here when your can is empty you might have something like that and then you'll have a little base at the bottom like so so the first thing that you must make sure is obviously that it's clean and try and get as much of the water out as possible perhaps even dry it overnight then I would take a craft knife and I cut along the bottom first simply because I find it's not bent as the top is. The top of these cans tends to be tapered in a little bit and it's more tricky to get in at that. So I make a little incision along the edge where this can joins up the base. So I'd make a little snippety, I haven't got enough fingers here. I'd make a little incision here and then I simply switch over to a pair of scissors and I've got a pair of crafting scissors that I use and cut all the way around the bottom. Then I don't try and do the same thing on the opposite side. What I do is find the center seam and you can normally see where it's a little bit darker or where there's a different color that there'll be a line where the piece of aluminium has been joined and then I cut all the way through to the top. Once I get to the top I then start snipping around and you'll find that this gets a lot easier because it starts to open up and you'll snip all the way around till you come to the edge. Having said that we're working with this thin aluminium, you can hear the kind of noise that it makes. Um, whoopsie! But you do need to be careful because you will get splintery little bits and these little jagged edges could quite easily nick you. So do be really careful if you're nervous, you can always put on a pair of gloves I don't do that, I find I don't feel things as well, but um, yeah, so that's what I do. Then, I have no idea why I'm collecting all the bases of these cans yet, but the crafter in me says there's a project there. So I've got little ones that are sort of normal standard size tins, and these are those mini thin tins, and I've got a whole lot of those. And all I do is pop them into a Pringle tin, and I'm storing those. The same goes with the lids. Don't ask me why I'm collecting them at this stage. I have no idea. But one day in the middle of the night, I'm sure suddenly something's going to come springing to mind and I will actually have a nice project. So forgive me while it's a bit noisy and I just pop these out the way into the Pringle tins. So now that I have the pieces of metal available to me, I will take these now that they're opened and I'll put them one inside the other as I'm doing now. Like that and I take another Pringleton and I simply pop those in for future use so they don't need to take up a lot of space and hey ho you've got an opportunity to be able to say to your family you need to eat some Pringles so the next thing that you would do is you would take some of your metal dies I have been using this one I've been making some Christmas cards I have used this reindeer as well and I'll just show you what you do with these. You're going to need to take some tape. It could be washi tape, it could be masking tape, it could be cellar tape. You just need to have some tape of some sort. And you're just going to tape these down onto your sheet of metal. So, if you wanted to have this as your top side, then put your design this way down. Or if you wanted the silver, put it the other way around. So for this one, I think I might like to have it with a color at the top. So I'm going to take my tape and remember that this metal has been bent so it is going to want to spring back at you. And I'm just going to secure this 
onto my sheet of metal. Oopsie. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I find it's better to work with smaller pieces of the cool drink or the soda can rather than larger pieces. The larger the pieces, the more tricky it gets. Okay? And then I would simply just run this straight through my embossing machine. So I will be back in a second. Right, so I've got my Spellbinders out. I've got a grand caliber. And what I've done is taken a lot of my dies and I've just used some cello tape which is transparent so you can see it's not ideal actually washi tape works too, better but for you to see I've used cello tape I've taped them onto a piece of metal and I'm putting down my base plate which is my A plate and I'm putting my cutting mat which is the C plate on top of that I'll just pull out this little arm so you're going to need to actually run this through your machine about five or six times just to get a nice clean cut some of the containers such as the seven up ones are slightly thicker aluminium and you're going to find that that's a little bit more tricky but having said that if it doesn't cut clean through when you've taken it out it's really easy on the metal to reposition your dies so that they line up accurately so just bear with me while i run this through a couple of times and we can have a look and see what we've got I'm fortunate that where I work I've got a lot of trainees and oh my word they come with a huge array of different drinks every day and I think that they think I'm quite bonkers I'm always saying please can I have your can when, when you've finished your cool drinks so <laughs> I don't have to drink all these monster energy drinks and things that they do but um, they very kindly give me their cans when they're finished right so I'm just going to run it through towards me because it's easier to get out and let's just see if it's cut through. Some might have, some might not have, but we'll just work with what we've got for now. Oopsie, one or two more spoons. There we go. Right, so if I take off my cover plate and you turn it over, you will start to see here quite easily where the actual metal is separating. I can see here immediately that the seahorse one hasn't gone through very well and neither has this tree one but some of the others aren't doing too badly so I think for now let me just put it back and I'm going to run it through a couple more times and I will be back with you so here are some of the things which I've cut out this is the glorious tree that has come out of my soda bottle and this was the intergalactic limited edition lovely colors I'm very thrilled with that here is my little reindeer, multicolors. He's got a bit of text on here, nice antler pattern. And here's my little sailboat. I positioned it so I'd get the barcode on one side and the sail a different color because I think that often happens in races. I'm not too a with sailing boats, but I think that they've got different colors, sails and spinnakers or whatever they're called. I love the way that this is just positioned on the wording so that I've got light and dark colors here on my seahorse and here is this happy little mermaid tail and I'm really thrilled with that from a little dye that cost under a dollar I mean under a pound <laughs> I'm really thrilled and this is what this looks like at the end of the day and I was just wondering and I haven't actually tried it yet but I was just wondering if one of my little punches would actually punch out of the I've got these little punches that punch out stars and things so let's see whether we've got a little star that pops out of here ah and there's a little metal star that's come out of these paper punches punching on these aluminium shapes is quite nice because it does actually help to sharpen your dies if you need to oopsie this one's got stuck anyway that was just a random thought at the end of the video Let's see if it works. Oopsie, that all popped together again. Alright, thank you for joining me and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.